My name is Stacey Allen, and we are here to talk to you about family-centered grooming. So I am a mother of a 10-year-old son with cystic fibrosis who's seen here at, at Primary Children's. And in years past, when Evan's been inpatient, it's always struck us as a little odd sometimes when we can see the team rounding outside the room, right? So we're like, what's happening out there and why are we not part of the discussion? So I always like to think of family-centered grounding like it being in the room where it happened. And what I mean by that is last year we took Evan to see uh, Hamilton and since then he's been obsessed with the music. Have you guys seen it? Yes. And he loves the song, The Room Where It Happened. And in that song, it talks about how Aaron Burr wishes that he was in the room with Hamilton when important decisions were being made, right? About our, mm -hmm. our history. And just like that song, I feel like it's equally important that families are in the room when the rounding happens so that we can be part of those important discussions about our kids. How do you guys feel about that? Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. I can't imagine uh, us making a decision without the biggest stakeholders right there with us. Uh, I so uh, enjoy and embrace families in the rounds. So in that process, we engage families, caregivers and nurses who are all such important members of the team. Um, and it always adds value to the conversation. So whether that's information we didn't already know going into rounds, such as uh, just today, as I was rounding with my team, my uh, resident said, oh, this is a four-year-old child with asthma. And the parent piped in and said, wait, actually, my daughter doesn't have asthma. That was really helpful. And then really my favorite is uh, when we don't always know what's going on uh, or we're not clear about the plan and we can have that discussion in the room, the parent family uh, and bedside nurse become part of our investigative team and they're really important eyes on that yeah. process. Yeah, kind of bringing all the voices yeah. together in the room that matters so we get a clear picture of what's happening. And I love the Aaron Burr song yeah. that happened in my mm -hmm. head. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It really is fundamentally part of the patient safety journey as well, because as you were saying, the family really does know a lot about the child that we're talking about. And there's been really good research, some of which came from here, Intermountain Primary Children's mm -hmm. Hospital, where if you do family-centered rounds the way you're talking about, where you're not outside the room, but you're actually in the room talking to the child and the family, uh, you can reduce preventable adverse events by 37%. So think about that. Every 100 errors that we're talking about, 37 of them could be prevented. So family-centered rounds is a fundamental part of a patient safety journey. You are the expert in your child's care. We need that voice present. I'll always remember I was at a conference once and we were talking about family-centered rounds and the parent that was at the table, you know, we had these little discussion groups. Uh, she said to me, you know, you may think you know what I'm gonna say, but you don't know what I'm gonna say until I say it. Mm -hmm. And if it involves my child, you should hear what I have to say. And that had a dramatic impression on me. I think it's really fundamentally part of our value system that the families are a necessary team member for us to come up with a treatment plan. And it's such an affirming feeling after you interact with the families and understand like they got to say what they needed to say and we heard what they said. And then we have example after example of how listening to what the parent understood really helped us see the situation differently. Uh, and then at a very granular level, if the medication is always a white tablet and a pink tablet shows up, mm -hmm. it's so important for us to hear that because it may be that now the tablet's pink and that's okay, we can confirm that. But what if it was supposed to be the white one and the pink one came up? Like, we need to stop yeah. that. We don't want the child to get the wrong tablet. So family-centered grounds are really part and parcel mm -hmm. of a safe environment. It's part of a respectful environment and it's really part of our value system. So I'm just delighted that, oh. that you've experienced that. Yeah, I just love it so much. And I think it's so important, like you said, I mean, 
just getting everybody on the same page and making sure that everybody comes together really is going to provide the best care for all the children that we see here. And we're all in the room. <laughs> we're happy. <out. laughs>